Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. So last night was Alex's exciting bridesmaids party and I think they had a blast. Uh, so Cat Bell slept over last night. She's actually downstairs right now. I think she's taking a shower or washing up in the bathroom. I don't really know. But this morning I got to sleep in because we did get home very late last night about one o'clock so there's no way I was gonna get up at seven to go to the gym. But Alex actually did wake up all on her own at like seven. I'm in a sad mood, a bad mood. Yeah, people are being really mean with her donating hair video because they're like, oh my god, you're so arrogant, like you didn't even donate your own hair and you're promoting this. And it's like, literally watch like a minute into the video and she says, I can't donate my hair because it's treated. And it's like, why do you like automatically jump to hate? Like just watch the video, learn a little bit, know what exactly is going on, and then maybe if you're still upset you can leave something, but like... It sucks because I'm actually so passionate about this. I know. And it means so much to me, and it's such a good thing. It's it's for helping women get free wigs during their treatment with cancer. I know. It's like, you're basing it off of like, oh, she's so arrogant, she doesn't cut her own hair. It's like, are you kidding me? I know. If I could, I would have done it then, then and there. I even it's said like, myself, because there were like men with really long hair. I was like, man, I wish I had my long hair, I would have cut my hair too. But I don't understand, like people, like all the comments are like so negative right now, and I just don't get it. Like watch the video. Literally, like watch a minute in and you'll like, say. This is clickbait. I'm like, no, it's not. I literally said my experience with cancer and donating hair, like two slashes donating hair, the video is about donating hair. It's not about me donating my hair. Yeah. It's just about donating hair. And it's also my experience with cancer because my grandfather had cancer. I had a friend who had cancer. It's like, it's my experience with it. It's, crazy. it's not clickbait. Like, it's legit about, like, people are so negative. And typically I don't care, but because I'm passionate about this, I'm it's, sure you it's can annoying. See it. it really bothers me. Yeah. And it makes me, like, not ever want to spread anything other than, like, fashion because so many people are just quick to judge and jump down your throat. And I'm just, like, over it. But it's a big problem with a lot of things. Like people will see an article shared on Facebook, like the least trustworthy news source ever. And they'll see like a title that says something and it's like automatic. They're like, boom, this is like the worst person in the world. This person should be in jail. And it's like, whoa, like take a chill pill, watch a bit, get some facts, learn about it, and then maybe form an opinion. But like don't jump down people's throat right away with negativity. Like that's the kind of stuff that we want to try to not have in the world. We want to be more like supportive and understanding, but like, it's just frustrating when people do that. Anyways, on a positive note, I wanted to show you guys something really cool that came in the mail yesterday. We got our second Mark II Canon camera because for Vlogmas, we're gonna need two cameras because we're both gonna be filming every single day. So that is gonna be very, very helpful to have the second camera. So video from yesterday is currently uploading. It has nine minutes left. And what I'm gonna do right now is put together this little shoe shelving unit that I bought yesterday uh, to go in here because right now, we just have the shoes like sort of spread out like on the floor. So it'd be nice to have a little shoe cabinet to uh, put things on. So guys, what does it look like? I assembled it and I cut up the mat into the perfect pieces to go on and there's an extra piece to go right here. So it works perfectly. Only thing is I just realized my bottom piece is sticking out a little bit like you can see there. So I might shave that one to be the right length, but the rest of it is not bad. So we're gonna put it in the cupboard and see what it looks like. So look at the salted Nutella cookies that Alex made for dinner tonight. What, not dinner, dessert. <laughs> Imagine that was dinner. <laughs> Good dinner, salted Nutella cookies. Are you guys hungry for lunch or anything? No. Oh, you just went for lunch. Duh. Okay, I'm gonna make something. All right, so we're here hanging out for my dad's birthday, and the girls are hanging out with baby princess. Look, she's holding my Jamie. Oh, Oopsie Bless you. She's got a death grip, eh? Hey? You got a really strong grip when you grip onto yeah, your finger. You really do. And then you never let go. Yeah. Ever, ever. Look at this. Yeah, it's Jamie. Aww. She's laughing. She's laughing. Wow, Brody. What is that? What's up, Brody? Jamie's book. It's a book? Is it Jamie's book? <laughs> Jamie no, book. Brody, go play with Trish. Go play with Trish. Go get her. <laughs> Jamie, you're just pulling on my finger. Pulling and pulling and pulling. She always looks like she just woke up from a nap. Yeah. when she smiles, it's just dimples. Cause then she laughs and she's really cute. <laughs> Oh my god, those dimples. Little Jamie. 
Just make any noise and they like. Yeah, I know. Jamie, are you gonna have a Nutella cookie? No. No. Too little for that. You get to have your beef. Oh, yes, you do. <laughs> Brody, try it again. <laughs> try it again. <laughs> nice job. Don't want to go crash it into the <laughs> oh, tomato time. Watch the water. Oh, <laughs> Did you? He just stuck his finger in the dip. No, he missed, oh, he missed the tomato. Look at the leg. It looks like you oh. <laughs> That first flip was perfect, though. Bro, are you going to catch it? <laughs> the first one was perfect. Like, no. After that, he's <laughs> failed. Like, he still has a tomato in his mouth, though. <laughs> Bro, you can eat the tomato. <laughs> Watch it. Hey, where'd you get a mouth? Chew. Chew the tomato. Bite it. There you go. Thank you. Where did you learn how to do those flips, dude? <laughs> I started doing them on the trampoline. Just like for fun? Yeah, with an adult standing that makes it slanted. Oh, so, so he like, would roll. Kind of just yeah. made it happen. And then he figured it out. So he does them all the time. Okay, go push, 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 push. Oh. Almost. <laughs> You kind of fell on your butt, dude. Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> go slowly. Go slow. Go slow. Push, push, push up. Lift, lift your bum. Lift your bum. Yeah. 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 You ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Blah. Blah. Oh my God. Blah. Again. Down. What do you want? You want to put your hand on my shirt? <laughs> okay, bye, Brody. Oh, duck, we read that before and you walked away while I was reading it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah oh, I yeah. did. Yeah, I did walk away. Duck you suck. Duck in trouble. <laughs> duck takes a balloon. <laughs> get it. Go get it. Go get it. Get him, Brody. Here, Brody, look. Oh. Jeez. Take two. Take two. Take another one. Go like this. Hiya, hiya, hiya. Hiya, hiya. He's like, I don't like it. <laughs> Thanks, Brody. Ready? Together, go. Hiya, 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 hiya. He's so cute. Trisha's like, I don't have anything. Ah! <laughs> get cat! Get cat! So I just got back from my dad's birthday party and I had to do a few things here when we got back. What I did was I nailed the carpet or mat or whatever you want to call it to the Thing. So I just tacked in some nails on each corner so that way now when you pull shoes off this thing doesn't slide with it And now it looks pretty good to keep all the shoes And then I think I showed that we also had an extra section there for shoes and then my parents lent me this So I'm not gonna use all of it because it's 329 pieces, but it's little felt tips So we put some on the stools because we didn't have before so now I put one on each one just letting it dry for a couple minutes. I'm gonna flip them over and then that way they just like float and they can just slide on the ground and they don't make any noise, they don't make any scratches. So you know what, actually let's flip it over right now. Look, listen. It's so quiet. Makes a little noise on the hardwood, but no scratches, nothing. Let's throw these out. Come on, come on, there we go. Also, we have some leftover cookies. They were amazing. If you guys like your desserts with like a little bit of salt mixed in, these were perfect. Oh, they were so freaking good. Um, I'm wondering what size I would need for the couch. Um, probably these ones? Not this one, that's too big. Maybe these ones, but I think these ones. Let me see if I can flip over a piece of the couch and, and check it out. Okay, so it kind of looks like there already is stuff on the bottom. I don't, oh my God, the freaking tag is still on the couch. How did we not notice that? I'm gonna cut that off. But these things look like they're scratch resistant. 
Should I put a felt thing on that? Like it's so little. I don't know. I mean, we've moved the couch and it hasn't scratched. I'm, uh, I don't know what to do. Let me see if there's a size in the felt thing. Also, this thing that Alex bought is amazing. It's like a little handheld vacuum. Oh my God, it's so good. And it has a little charger, you just charge it. It literally sucks up everything. Let's see, is there something really small? Like these, I'm not gonna put those on, they're tiny. That's too big. I think it's good. I think it's fine the way it is. I don't think we need anything, but I'm gonna cut that tag off. All right guys, so question of the day for today comes from Ida Erlinson, and she asked if we had ever seen a moose. Uh, I have seen a moose twice. Uh, once was at a zoo, so it doesn't really count because it's not real, well it's real, but like, it's in captivity, so it kind of sucks. Uh, and second time was on a road trip when I was younger with my family. We were going camping, and we just saw it on the side of the highway, just chilling, like just off in the in the bushes, like not far off the road. But I've never seen one like up close and personal, and I'm pretty happy I haven't, because <laughs> from what I've read and what I've seen, they can be pretty aggressive and like very territorial, especially during mating season. And if they charge you, like you're pretty much dead. There's like not much you could do against it. They can take out a car. Like they're freaking huge. If you guys have never seen what a moose looks like, make sure you like, go Google what a moose looks like or look at moose videos. They're pretty scary. Even the calves, like the young ones are huge and they've got massive heads and the males have antlers. Like it's crazy. Uh, but I have seen twice in my life. So Alex is off to New York City. So I'm all alone this morning. I think I'm gonna go hit up the gym and then just get a start on the day. I got a lot of shopping to do today, so it'll be fun. If you guys wanna see all that stuff, make sure you check out tomorrow's video. It's gonna be exciting. So I hope you guys had a wonderful, wonderful day and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Yeah.